everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today working on the bathroom area. This is the enclosure that goes around the tub and the shower. Uh, all these studs are very specifically uh, delineated in this diagram that I have to follow to make sure that everything fits in perfectly. I want to make sure that this space is exactly the size and shape that it needs to be so when the plumbers come in and they're installing units, they're not having trouble with uh, you know, the fact that things are too small or things are too big or anything. Uh, that's going to keep them moving quickly, efficiently, and not irritated. I know for me personally, when I'm not irritated that I'm working in substandard conditions, I tend to do better work, and I think that's probably the case with most people. So I don't want to irritate anyone by having this uh, space not be precisely to the right dimension, so I'm paying a lot of attention to that right now. I'm also uh, paying attention to the 2x4s that I'm using. I'm actually getting a little bit low on 2x4s. Uh, normally, I would be going out on a weekly basis, bringing River to classes, going out to the grocery store and stuff, and usually when I go out, I'll just swing by the hardware store and I will grab some 2x4s. It's pretty easy for me to throw uh, two dozen of them up on the roof rack of my car, but uh, now we're not going out because there aren't classes with the coronavirus. We're not going to grocery stores for similar reasons. Uh, so I really got to get out again, but at the moment I'm, I'm short on two by four. So wherever possible, I'm trying to use scrap. Now I'm not using scrap on anywhere where it would you know, uh, diminish the structure or the strength of anything, but in places where it makes sense, like here, this little nailer that needs to go up against this wall, for places where it makes sense, I'm you know, using scrap wherever possible, so it's saving me two by two by fours, and you know, really that's something I'd be doing anyway because it also saves money, but it's extra critical right now because I just don't have those two by fours. I, I haven't been able to spend as much time here lately as I have in the past because I've been needed back at home. Yesterday I, I wasn't able to come in at all to do any work. It's kind of slowing things down. Uh, I'm just needed back there more, you know, to make sure there's not things coming into the house that are a problem. Just needing to manage the you know, global emergency at the same time as I'm managing this construction project. Do I wish that I didn't have to juggle both at the same time? Absolutely. Uh, do I wish that we were in here? Absolutely. But, you know, in any kind of an emergency, really your best asset is your skills and your knowledge and your cleverness. And I like to think that I have some of those things. The fact that we're not in the ideal house, yeah, it bothers me. But, you know, if all you had is a great house but no skills and no common sense, you'd be in rough shape. I think, you know, on balance, you're better off not necessarily being in the ideal space as long as you kind of have the skill set and the mindset for an emergency situation. So it's been a little frustrating that we're not in here yet and we're actually dealing with a real global emergency, but, you know, that's the way it is. And, you know, you got to take things as they come. We'll be ready for the next one. That's all I keep saying to myself. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I think I've got a little bit more work in here today and then... Uh, I'm kind of out of two by fours and pretty much out of time. I've only got a few hours each day to pop over here and try to make the best of it. That's it. Thanks for watching.